Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lorelai Shamayo, and this is MeWe Fairs for Energizing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. We have events throughout the Pacific Northwest and many online, and we interview our practitioners and vendors so you get a chance to know who we are before you meet us at an event. I'm excited to be here today with Angela Doherty. It's great to be with you. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here too. You're welcome. Well, so tell us, what is it that you do? What do you offer at our events? So I am an EMF consultant. I help people mitigate EMFs in their homes and their bedrooms for the betterment of their health. Uh, so what that means, because a lot of people don't know what that means, EMFs are electromagnetic frequencies or electromagnetic fields. And basically this is an energy that is traveling through the air. So you have your device, you have your cell phone, you make a call, that uh, call <laughs> goes through to the cell tower and then it goes from that tower to another tower to another tower off to the other person's phone. And so that information is traveling through the air. We used to do things through a wire, but now we have so many wireless things, it's all going through the air. Uh, it's the same with your Wi-Fi router and your laptop and anything that is smart technology, all of that is traveling through the air and it's going through walls, it's going through buildings, it's also going through our bodies and our brains and our cells. And this is not good for us. So there are thousands literally thousands of peer-reviewed research studies that show that it's not good for us. This is an energy that is foreign to our body and it's doing all sorts of biological harm. So what I do is I help people find the things in their home that are causing the most damage and destruction. And I teach them simple ways to mitigate that and minimize the impact because the exposures that we have now are unfathomably higher than what they are in nature. I can give you the number if you want to hear it because it's it's pretty bad. Go ahead and share. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, well, it's, it's just about none of it in nature. And then we're introducing all this stuff, I assume. But yeah, what what so is it? So it's a trillion times more radio frequency radiation than what we had a hundred years ago is what we're exposed to on average. So yeah. Um, it's definitely worth taking a look at. And um, it's not just actually there's different types of EMFs. Um, that's just one of them. And I look at all of them, all of the ones that are harmful anyway, uh, including electricity, power lines, all that stuff, wiring errors. And uh, look for things that might be causing a burden, particularly in your bedroom, because for a couple reasons. One, uh, the place where we sleep, that's where we do the most healing. So if we're gonna clean up a space, that's the best place to clean up. Um, but also it's kind of an easy place to, um, it's a small place and there's, uh, there's not a lot we can do about some of our daytime exposures, maybe where we work or when we're out and about traveling around, it's everywhere. It's kind of hard to avoid, but we can do a lot in our bedrooms. So that's it's where- is, I guess part of it just moving things away. And then there are also some physical like and energetic things for blocking things and stuff like that. Like yes, exactly. So there's different strategies depending on what I'm trying to achieve. And so that's part of where my guidance comes in of like, what's the best approach to deal with this particular problem? So just to give you an example, um, some people still have those old plug-in alarm clocks uh, with the little digital display. Most of the time, those have a magnetic field about three feet or so, um, and they're right next to the bed. So you're sleeping in that all night. So I say, just get rid of it and get a battery powered one, or you could move it three feet away if you really want to keep it. Mm -hmm. uh, an example of moving something away. Yeah, yeah. And... Well, how did you get, well, I don't know, all the different things. What I was going to say is I think, so some people don't realize they need this because they're just not sensitive enough or they haven't had any symptoms of things, but like lots of people really know there's something going on and they don't know what it is. Some people know exactly what it is and they know they want to go find you. Right. So like they're all, it's a whole range of people. Like it would be useful for all of us, but some of us don't realize we it would be helpful. Yes, there's probably so many of you that don't realize this is affecting you. Most of my clients tend to be people that have made some sort of connection that their symptoms 
might be connected or are for sure connected to an EMF. Uh, just to give you an example, maybe somebody takes off their smartwatch and they notice their carpal tunnel goes away. Or they go camping for a week and all of a sudden they don't have sleep apnea anymore. Or my personal favorite, power goes out for a week and a five-year-old nonverbal autistic boy says his first words. So, I mean, there's just crazy things that happen. And um, I love it when people make those connections and I come in and I see, oh, this is why you're feeling that way. And I'm able to point them in the right direction on how to clean up that specific problem. Yeah. Wow. Well, how did you get started doing this? You, you come across as someone that's probably fairly sensitive yourself. So I'm imagining that's part of what got you into this. But Surprisingly, um, not so much. You know, a lot of the people that do what I do, um, they, you know, they had an experience with it and they got healing through it. I did experiment around with it um, and I did kind of find some things, but I'm not actually an electrically sensitive person. Um, so uh, I got into this because I, well, I feel like it's really my uh, core values that came from my, you know, personal story, my own personal childhood and journey. My core values are really around wellness, physical wellness, and communication and connection with others. Those are very important to me. Uh, so physical wellness, uh, I am very passionate about taking care of our physical bodies because I think it's hard for us to be well uh, physically, uh, emotionally, spiritually, all of the things. It's hard to really be well and feel well in your body if you've got issues, if you've got these chronic things that you're dealing with. So I'm really passionate about helping people with their physical health so that they can enjoy their experience of life. Mm -hmm. um, and also with connections with people are very important to me so that I feel very blessed to be able to be on the journey with people and watch them experience healing and walk through this with them. Right. And just if there's anything you want to share, how did this unfold in your life? Like, how did you come to do this? Whatever well, you want to share about that. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I've just been a passionate researcher on all things having to do with physical health. And this was one that I think, I think it, it sort of chose me in a way <laughs> because uh, I think the scientific certainty of it really drew me to it um, that I know at the end of the day that I've fixed the numbers on the meter and I'm really helping people. And that helps me really feel at peace about what I'm doing and I'm doing good in the world. Mm -hmm. So I helped it. And then um, I found GeoVital, uh, which is where I trained there in Austria and really resonated with their whole backstory and the way that they approach this issue. They've been doing it for about 40 years now, really kind of the first they're the first ones that really got into this area and uh, really appreciate how they approach things with integrity. I know some people, have, a lot of people probably in our community have heard about EMFs and know that they're a challenge. What is it about GeoVital that's different than the other businesses? Like how did you choose to work with them and what sets them apart from the others? Um, well, they uh, take a very scientific approach um, where it's, it's about removing the EMFs whenever possible. So returning to the goal is to return to a natural environment. And um, so I appreciate that. Um, as far as um, things that are maybe sort of scientifically a maybe, um, I don't really deal with things in that arena because like I said, I wanna know that what I'm doing is helping people. Um, so uh, also, Geovital has a very, um, they, they started out as a naturopathic clinic, and this came from a desire to help their patients. Yeah. And so that really comes through in everything that they do and how they approach it, because it's to, in order to help somebody heal, like when you personally know somebody, you want what's best for them, as opposed to wanting to ride the wave of a trend or make some sales. Yeah, I hear the the direction that they've come to this is very different. Yeah. Great. Yeah. 
Great. Well, I'm excited for more people to be aware of your work and have access to your consulting, aware of your products, et cetera. So if people want to learn more, where do they go to find you on the web? You can find me at my website, reclaimedhealing.com. And you'll find all my contact info there. I don't do the socials too much. I'm I'm not, I don't have time for that. <laughs> but yeah. For a text, um, it, I love to hear people's questions and help them navigate these things. So don't hesitate to reach out. Great, great. And maybe I say when, when you're at our events, are you primarily doing some initial consultations with people? Are you like, what is the things that you're offering at the events? At the events, I'm mainly there to provide education and answer questions. So I do, I will be doing a talk where I do a one-on-one on all the EMFs and things that you can do to, in on your own, you know, free or low cost, no cost types of things that you can do. And I have some resources on that. Um, there's a lot of, uh, anybody that has tried to Google this, probably knows that there's, it's kind of a jungle out there. It's a bit of a wild west. And so if you want to, you know, come talk to somebody who's very grounded in solutions that actually work, um, you know, definitely come talk to me and yes. I'll be there. So you've got the documentation property. of the science and the, and the results. The yeah. Part of what you'll have in the booth. Okay, great. Great. Yeah. And I'll have some products available as well. If you want to check those out and get hands-on with those. Okay, great, great. Yeah, Mix it. Is there anything about the products you want to just just share or describe, just to give us an idea of like what they what they're like? Um, well, I offer a lot of different um, solutions. It's kind of it's really tailored to what your house needs. So I can definitely talk about products, but I do like to point people first to getting a home assessment. Mm -hmm. um, and I I try to keep my assessment costs as low as possible, accessible because it's so important to get the right information so you're not buying things that you don't need, and especially in this arena because radiation is tricky and uh, you don't wanna just be willy-nilly putting things out there. Uh, it will bounce and it might bounce into places that you don't want it. And so it's, it's good to kind of know what you're doing and which product is really gonna suit your needs on that. Okay, great. So you said bounce. So I guess some things move things in different directions and things like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It does bounce. <laughs> All right, great, great. Very exciting. All right. Well, I'm excited to learn more about your work. I was a scientist, so I'm totally curious and want to yeah, see what, what kinds of things are out there and what's working. Great. I will yes. be able to hear your feedback then. Yeah. Well, and thanks so much. Be great to have you at our events. And thanks everyone for watching and listening. You can find out more about all of our events at mewefairs.com and come see Angela and learn more about EMFs and what's really practical to work with them.